What's up? Not too much, man. You ready to try this Ford out? Let's check it out. All right. Oh no, it broke down. <laughs> Not. Sorry, Not. sorry. That's that's ten minutes from now. Check it out. We got the trailer on the back of the F three fifty. Notice it's empty. We got the broken mirror. We got a nasty day outside. But Lance and I want to welcome you back because, like I said, we are going to pick something up, and I'm excited about it. We're doing a big upgrade. It is something we already we already have this item, but we need a we need a new one, right? Yep. So Lance is driving because yep. yeah, um, he won that coin toss. And uh, normally we would be driving the Duramax. We're not driving it because uh, it's off getting some work done to it. Not the not my red Duramax, the white Duramax that we usually tow with. Um, it, it, uh, we're doing some upgrades to it as well, and you'll see that in an upcoming video. But today it's not it's not around for you. So we are taking the Super Duty. Um, we're gonna be there shortly. Should I just tell him? Should sure. I just tell him? I think I'm gonna tell him. All right. Skid loader. We're getting another skid loader. We'll throw in a couple clips here of us walking around. As you can see, it's a uh, another case. We had a case already. And it's and it's a little bit little bit smaller of a machine, but uh, really nice shape. Does have a little bit higher hours on it. We'll check the exact ones and give you all the details later. But uh, you know, fully enclosed cab, uh, heat, AC, all that stuff. So pretty exciting there. We are going to be up there very shortly to pick this thing up. I'm pretty excited. It is getting close at the end of the day here as far as daylight, so we'll see what we can film, but uh, pretty excited about this pickup. all loaded up sorry that was kind of quick there we were just hustling um we got got her all strapped up now some of you are gonna say about putting the skid loader you always put them on a trailer backwards and that's sort of true um i don't worry about it on our trailer because it's a long enough trailer that you have the distance to move our things and pins yeah on both sides yeah okay. just double checking everything it's always a good idea when you're telling something uh but yeah our, our uh trailer's big enough that you don't really have to worry about backing it on to get it Center, so I think we'll be all right. And then we'll see how the old Super Duty tows. Now that we've been out on the road for a little bit, we're gonna go over here for the Lance report. How's the F-350 doing? Uh, feels okay. Um, feels a little bit like a Ford. I've not driven a lot of Fords, but I think this is how they feel. And uh, I'd give it a solid 6.4 out of 10. How about power-wise? 6.7 out of 10. <laughs> really that high? I, I want to do a play on the motor size. Oh, okay. Is it moving the truck around a lot? No, it actually feels pretty stable. Yeah, I haven't noticed too much. What's going on? How did you get out of the truck? We started this trip together. Well, how'd you get out? Like you were driving just yeah. a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm driving, and it's brighter out. Same day. So yeah, definitely the same day. Did we change clothes though along the way? Yeah. And, <laughs> and separated. So this is my first chance to tow with the F350, and it was about like my review when I first when we first got it. It was okay, and that's really about it. Other than last night, sorry, it's the same day. That's right, we were saying. Yeah, day. earlier today. Yeah, earlier today when Lance was driving uh, and we were going up the hills um, with this load, it would like barely do it. Like what, 50? 
It went down. I think that I think that's related to that check engine light, honestly. No. Well, then it's still broken. All right. You realize the Ford argument is like, well, no, it's broken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, true, that's, true. Like, is, is that, that better? <laughs> this thing has 700 horsepower. No, it's not <laughs> Ford's fault. They put a part in that's faulty. 1,500 pounds of torque, <laughs> but right now it's broken. <laughs> Let's get this thing off the trailer, man. All right. Just listed the other one for sale. Did you? Yep. You want to give a shot of the old one over there? Yeah, there she is. The old 70 XT being replaced by the SR210. And then there's a Tesla in its natural state being worked on. You can tell the uh, propulsion uh, area is open. <laughs> <laughs> How else do you service the rear unit? Oh, this strapped off. I didn't like your anchor point anyway. Which one? Under there. It didn't seem like it was going to hold. You put it to the same spot. Yeah, but I tightened mine. Need though some Windex there. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so you go on in. You got to kind of. Steps a little interesting. Yeah, I think it just needs fixed. All right, hold on. All right. Yeah, get under that thing. That's one of the first things we're gonna buy. Yeah, you have to. Okay, so we got to turn it on. Okay. okay. So, so you do the power button. And then the start button. Oh. You had to, you had to hold it, yep. And then that down, then slam the door. Then operate. Parking brake? No, operate. Oh, hit operate? Yeah. All right. Now, fortunately, I have to use both hands because I hate how cases are that you have to use both hands to move so recording's got to stop one thing so yeah I, we switched out again i don't know man this, this video is lacking all sorts of continuity but <laughs> this thing's so much faster than the old skid loader um so that's that part is nice so what we're gonna do i'm really excited this is my dad's backhoe attachment and uh we've been wanting to use it or at least try it out and I as far as i know it works the whole point is because this one has high flow and this requires high flow so uh, it's going to be exciting to check it out here. And we can drop the bucket, which is also a new thing because it was welded on on the other skid loader. this side did not release. I will say the previous owner told us that he had not taken the bucket off since he put it on. He bought it without a bucket, put this bucket on, hadn't taken it off since. So I'm not super surprised that those were a little crusty. Try to move them in and back and forth a couple times. 
So it's moving in and out now. Oh, I guess the seat comes out. How do I ever get out of here? The seat comes out. Oh, okay. All right, got Lance filming from the inside. Am I dying here? I don't know, I didn't do anything I didn't think, but. Everything just moved for a second. I got that one was easy enough. The other one should work exactly the opposite. All right. Did it work? Yeah, it did. All right. So I gotta turn on, I think, high flow in here, and then we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, it's on. Let's try. Oh. I forgot my part of this whole thing. Forgot I'm out here and have to check it. Yeah. Got nothing working so far. Do you have to, does it have to be revved up? No, no, no. You're back, back. <laughs> does it need to be revved up? Sorry, I didn't mean to smash your hands. See, I think we might have something. Okay, almost, almost died. All right, let's see this. I think does a stabilizer. There we go. I don't know what Lance did in there, but he did something. <laughs> He's been excited about this for a while. All right, let's get her set up. Here, we're gonna go dig with it right over here. <laughs> oh. He forgot how to work it now. Mm -mm. I can hear it when it kicks on. But do you have to be in the seat? I know. I can just hop in, we can just do that for fun. Well, just, just see if you sweat and you sit down if it kicks on yeah. or if. Well, could be the door. Could be the door. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> a lot of steps. We don't know what we're doing. I just want to be upright with you guys on that. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to move up here into the professional operator's position. Whoa. Now, do I know what I'm doing? Not. 
See, I want to bring this guy back. There we go. Oh! All right, really rocks. Okay, I'm not gonna hit the, I'm worried about slamming into the glass back behind me, but I think we'll be all right. Now how this guy, there we go, okay. Goodness. What to do? All right, I'm gonna try to reverse. I guess I'm tied up against the glass now. I think you gotta take the glass out. I think. And it is just touchy, man. That guy goes this way. All right. Try to take out the 300. <laughs> it's so touchy. All right, let me. All the ones except for that up down, I can do with like some finesse. All right, here, I'm just gonna go as slow as I can. Let's see what happens. Okay. If I do that. Okay, and now I'm gonna just drag her in, which it's not gonna pick anything up. I lost power. I don't know. Let's see what Lance is doing back. What you doing? I lost my power! So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do that, and then I'm gonna ease her. I'm gonna try to gently, gently pull up. Okay. Nope. Oh man. I'm going over here with it. And then this way here. Okay. Honestly, it is a little rougher than what I planned, but it is so much fun out here, guys. Guys should be out here. So here she is, this is the new machine. We're pretty, pretty excited. Got a smoking deal on it. Um, and we'll have to do like, I don't even know all the specs offhand. We did look them up, but I don't know them. Don't know them just to say them. Here is the old machine up close. It's the 70 XT. This actually does have more power. What I want to say that one's 68 horsepower and this one was 74. 74, okay. That one's like 78 or something. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit smaller, I guess, but man. It runs really well. Now, I did say, as I was driving it, it, regen turned on. Didn't think about that, the new emission stuff that uh, the newer stuff has, which I don't love at all. Actually hate, in fact. I do love how quiet it is. That's awesome. Um, and the controls are like butter. However, Lance and I were just talking. When you hit the speed bumps or anything with our skill level, which is minimal at best uh yeah you kind of like lose control inside because like you bounce and then you you're the controls are so like 
uh, tight, loose, whatever, whatever you want to say, uh, <laughs> easy to move that, uh, you know, you kind of end up going all over the place, but still a pretty sweet machine. We'll have to dig at some point, but it is truly like it will, if we go over there to dig, it's going to sink directly into the mud a hundred percent because it's rained for the last like five or six days. I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys are too. This is definitely going to help out around. Um, and we do have building still happening these are all the trusses for the building that's going in up at the top where we just were you saw all the cars removed they are they're gone uh we torched them all we didn't torch them all they're at my house and uh, we got a whole whole pile of lumber here for the new buildings going up thanks so much for watching guys have a great day